What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a summertime get ready with me. We're talking all the steps the night before how I get my legs to be smooth and silky for the summertime as well as my makeup, how I do my hair now that it's a lot shorter than it used to be, as well as a little fun summer outfit that I would just throw on. If you like this video and if you are excited for summer, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, then be sure to subscribe and join the family and hit that bell notification so that you know when I upload videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. We're gonna jump back to the night before so that I can show you guys what I do to get super smooth and silky skin that lasts up to four weeks because we don't want to deal with prickly legs you know we're trying to show them off today I am working with Braun you guys know how much I love their products we've built such a wonderful partnership for the past year and tonight I'm using the Braun Silk Epil 7 which is waterproof and that is why I'm drawing a bath because why not do this in the bath you know what I mean this epilator has 40 tweezer close grip technology so you can remove hair that is as small as a grain of sand it follows the contour of your body with a pivoting head and also stimulates and massages your skin as you go. Depending on your preference, you can epilate, shave, or trim by just switching the attachments it comes with, or my favorite, the bikini trimmer that's super easy and safe to use around sensitive areas. If you guys want to try it for yourselves, you can purchase on Amazon or just click the link in my bio. I will have everything down there. Let's move on to the makeup. So after I put on some chapstick, I like to put on a little bit of primer for my foundation. This is the Laura Mercier SPF 30 primer. So it's gonna help me to protect my skin from the sun. For foundation, I'm using two different types of products for coverage as well as a liquid highlighter. So for starters, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, of course. And I've been loving the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. I use the shade Medium. And then that third product is the Marc Jacobs Fantasy Dewdrops Liquid Highlighter. So that's gonna help to make my face look very glowy and dewy and youthful and I love mixing it into my foundation. For concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I'm in the shade 2W and I'm applying it to my highlighting points as well as under my eyes. And then I also took a darker shade and used that as a cream contour. I love using like darker concealers. And I'm using the same concealer but in the shade 5N. I honestly talk about this so much and I always use it, but it's the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk and I'm just tapping it onto the apples of my cheeks as my blush. Using liquid or cream blush products really help the color to melt into your skin and look super flushed and natural. Then of course I have to set my face, so I'm just using a translucent powder and brushing that all over with a big powder brush. Next up, you gotta fill in the eyebrows. I'm using my Benefit Browsings palette, and today I decided to use the powder. You guys know how to do this. Just use light strokes and a light hand, and eventually just get the shape that you want. I don't know, this literally takes me forever, so like when I finish my brows, I'm celebrating, because I hate it. <laughs> Today's eye look is going to be very, very warm. The first palette I'm using is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette and I'm grabbing that super bright orange in the middle and applying it into my crease and really dragging it out to just warm up the whole area and then also putting that same color onto my lower lash line. Jumping over to a different palette, I'm using kind of a darker burnt pink shade and applying that all over my lids and then going in with kind of like a light pal pink and tapping that right in the center to brighten up the eyes and blend everything out. And the last color that I'm using on my eyes is this really, really pretty, like burnt orange glittery color and really heavy putting that on my, heavily putting that on my lower lash line as well as my upper lash line and just making sure everything's blended out. And then of course you gotta finish off your eyes by curling the lashes and applying on some mascara. I'm using my Milk Makeup Mascara and I love it. Also, I'm such a liar because we're not done. I forgot to highlight my brow bone, so I'm just using a very pale pink and placing that there as well as a little bit in the inner corners of my eyes. For highlighter, I wanted to test out a new product, newer for me at least. I usually gravitate towards kind of golden-y highlighters. I love when they have that gold shimmer, and this one is 
gorgeous. It is the Addiction Face Illuminator. And while putting my highlighter on, I realized, oh my God, Claudia, you forgot a step. How dare you? I forgot powdered bronzer, you guys. I'm such a mess today. Um, so we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen and go back in and add a little bit of powdered bronzer. It's fine, it's all gonna be fine. And yeah, I like to like do like a double contour because I did have the cream contour earlier, but I feel like the powder just really warms up the face. And then, of course, gotta put on some lipstick. I'm using this Anastasia lipstick in the shade Hollywood. I think it's so, so pretty and peachy and matches the eyes perfectly. To finish everything off, I'm using my Urban Decay setting spray and I drench my face in it. I coat it fully. <laughs> and that is the eye makeup look. So now, moving on to the hair. It is so simple and easy. Wow, I love having short hair. So I'm just starting off by giving myself kind of a loose, messy middle part. I don't really care that much. To give my roots a little bit of texture, I'm using my Living Proof Dry Shampoo, spraying that in, kind of shaking it out with my finger to make sure you don't see any of that residue or powder. And then what I'm doing is super, super simple. I'm taking a straightener and I'm basically just curling the bottom like third of my hair and flipping it up so that the ends of my hair just has a little more of like a polished, flicked up look. And I kind of love how like innocent it makes my hair look. Um, and yeah, I have pretty straight hair so I don't have to go all the way down and I mean, that's really it. And then just finishing it off with a little bit of way texturizing spray and just kind of shaking that through to make sure that the little curled ends stay throughout the day, that rhymed. And that is all that I did to my hair. Just kind of play around with it. We're done, cool, great, moving on. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the outfit, and this one is super, super casual, but I thought it'd be kind of a great representation of like what I would be wearing running around in the summertime, because we all run around in the summertime, <laughs> don't we? But um, yeah, I've got these like fun little vintage shorts from Reformation, a good graphic tee. I love some good kind of funky gold necklaces. And then of course, got to finish the look off with some Converse. I've been loving the platform Converse. They're just so fun. Little belt, you're good to go. We're done. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Bye.